Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and something really uh, important came out for the uh, Android market and it's a Nintendo 64 emulator, the N64 OID. Uh, now I do want to point out that uh, you should own the games uh, when you want to play ROMs because if you download ROMs and you don't own a physical copy, you're actually breaking the law and I do not recommend it. Um, now what I'm going to uh, show you is the difference between different Android processors. Over here we have a Droid X and this is using an OMAP uh, processor and it's using a PowerVR GPU. Some, uh, pretty much the same GPU that's in the iPhone as well. All the iPhones, 3GS and iPhone 4. Over here we have a Snapdragon processor in the HT Droid Incredible. Um, and I find it very funny because uh, Verizon's running ads for this phone where they're saying uh, blazing speeds um, and so on uh, this, you know for ninety nine dollars and so on so what we will do is dot spider-man on this phone and here we go okay You'll see the difference in the emulations between the two processors. Kid mode. Kid mode. This emulator is five ninety nine on the Android market. Um, I'm kind of two believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the Amazing Spider-Man, in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller, packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. Hey, Spider. Hey, Black Cat. What's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed. And they've got hostages. Use your spidey compass to get to the bank quickly. Thanks, Cat. You know, and I'll show you the webbing. Um, the webbing looks a little weird. It's not um, rendering properly. But, however, it's still not a deal breaker for me. I would probably still play it. But anyway, let's show you the Snapdragon processor. Uh, playing the same exact game. And we'll just go in here and we will go into Spider-Man. And it's going to take a while. Now, I do recommend if you do decide to play with this emulator, make sure you un or unzip the ROMs um, that you may have. And once again, make sure you do own the, the physical copy. Kid mode! Kid mode!
And I think you guys get the idea that um, the simulator is um, somewhat buggy. I don't really recommend buying it just yet. Um, hopefully the developer will be able to iron out some bugs. I was playing some games and they're not too bad. Um, let me just stop this. It's just so bad. But um, actually, no. Um, go to end. Close. Um, bought this emulator, the N64 emulator. Um, it seems to run certain games pretty well. Well, I wouldn't say pretty well. It runs them good enough that you're able to play. Like the Zelda. I played one of the Zeldas. I can't remember which one. I'm not really big into Zelda. Um, I actually was Majora's Mask. It you know it was it's playable. It will have a few hiccups with audio. However, it um, seems to be pretty pretty decent. Um, you know you will get a little bit of uh, audio hiccups, which are you know, kind of annoying at times. You know, I wish it was a perfect emulator like some of the emulators there on the PC where they're almost so good where you don't even know if you're playing the actual hardware or an emulator. Now, I knew I do know some people who are um, who prefer playing on real hardware, and they said sometimes the emulators don't render the colors right. So, you know, that's not really the, a big issue for me. However, I just want the audio to be pretty good. You know, on the Droid, on the Droid, um, on the Droid 2, you know, Spider-Man is, you know, it's pretty playable. Uh, the only thing that really would kind of make me not want to play it is the, um, the audio. The audio is a little bit bad. You know, graphics will, can need, need to be patched up a little bit more. But, you know, I'm going to give the emulator for an OMAP processor that's in the most motor rollers or whatever um, a C minus anything that's running on a Snapdragon well whatever ge generation I have with this motor roller uh, no, HT Droid Incredible I'm gonna give it a um, D minus I mean it works but um, it's not really that great so um, a lot of people are happy about it. I mean, I read some comments. Some people love it. I mean, they, they're happy to have it or play that one game. But overall, it's not really that great of an emulator. Um, and I'm not trying to bash the developer. I mean, I know emulation is, you know, takes a lot of programming and stuff like that. I do see a lot of pot potential here. Um, and I really do think that this emulator will be worked out. We'll get the bugs ironed out. And we'll probably maybe even be working on Snapdragon processors pretty well. Um, just to let you know, um, I haven't done a side-by-side, -side, but uh, I'm going to try to do another side-by-side -side between Asphalt 5 on Android, on uh, Droid 2, and then on uh, HT Droid Incredible. Now, I just want to give you a little background. Now, this is a game, one of the few games that you can buy from GameLoft on, on the uh, app, on the Android store. And... The demo of this game on HT Droid Incredible is really, really, really bad. It's one of the um, tracks you play, like in the Alps or something, or you know, up in Switzerland or Alaska or someplace, or Canada where it snows a lot. And the demo is really, really bad with the HT Droid Incredible. However, when I purchased the full version, um, that track isn't as bad as it is. Uh, that was in the demo. It did seem like the people at GameLoft tried to get it to work a little bit better um, for Snapdragon. And that track was running pretty decently. However, the other tracks, the other one, I think it's in Venice, Italy. I can't remember. I'm, I think it's Venice. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's Brazil or something, that track. And it's the one where you see sailboats off to the side. That track, I got a lot of slowdown. However, if I play that track on the uh, Droid 2, my Droid, Droid 2, um, I don't have any slowdown. It's lickety split. Also, my iPhone 3GS, which is a 2009 phone, plays this game perfectly. It actually plays it a little bit better, I would say, than the Droid 2, just because it's an iPhone port, um, not because of the hardware it can. Um, it, just, it just has a little bit better of a feel. Um, playing it on the iPhone. I just think that's because it's ported code. But, you know, um, Snapdragons are pretty crappy. 
uh, processors. Just to let you guys know, uh, I saw a video f uh, from uh, Into Mobile about the new uh, PlayStation phone, and they were demoing. The, you see a guy playing Asphalt 6. Okay, that's the game that comes after this one, and um, the PlayStation phone couldn't even play that game smoothly. However, my iPhone 3GS uh, plays that perfectly, and the iPhone 3GS has a 600 megahertz CPU, um, but the Droid 2 um, in the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch, uh, iPad 1 all use the same uh, GPU, which is a Power VR, and it's the same Power VR in this one, so it plays it pretty well. I do know the Samsung Hummingbirds um, last gen um, had even a faster Power VR chip than um, than uh, the uh, uh, iPhone, all the i i devices, and also uh, this Droid, Droid 2. But at the same time, there's nothing that really takes advantage of um, a G a GPU that's actually that powerful. So I mean, if you guys want to get a Spider-Man game, you Android iPhone guys or Nokia guys, uh, you know, I know it's I think it's even probably for Windows 7. Um, if you're, you know, head on over to GameLoft.com and you can pick up um, Spider-Man. I do rec recommend this game. I do love this game. Um, if you guys have been following my channel, I do love this game a lot. I also love Asphalt 5. 5 uh, just not a big fan of it when it's running on uh, Snapdragons. So, guys, the N64 emulator is a pass until some of the bugs get worked out. Right now, I just can't really recommend it. I can kind of recommend it a little bit if you have a Hummingbird processor or an OMAP. Uh, and you probably want to play maybe the Marios or the Zeldas or the Star, Star Fox 64. They Those will run playable, okay, but they will have hiccups in them. And to me, I, I don't really want to play those either, but I know there's some people that want to play those on the go and so, but remember you must own the cartridge. Um, to play these legally, and I do recommend you guys buying the cartridge if you don't. And once you uh, own the cartridge, then you can um, install the ROM. Once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. And if this video has helped you, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate you being a subscriber of mine. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Be more than happy to help anyone of you guys out. Also, if you could be kind enough, give me a thumbs up. If you want to help out this video a little more, please favorite the video. Once again, guys, mp4podcast.com. I'm signing out, and you guys stay safe. Later, guys. Bye.